Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is uh, business. I have a blog called 50mistakes.com and it's 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. Or it's a lot of mistakes that just any business owner makes. So any business owner can log in there and get free advice, totally free advice. Uh, free of charge, log on, shoot me an email if you need more help and I'll be happy to assist. So the number one mistake I see with restaurants is their lease. And for some reason, you know, restaurateurs, inexperienced restaurateurs, never get a long enough lease. They always get a five-year option. It just happened to somebody who I know, and they're going, well, that's what the liquor authority wanted. The liquor authority wanted to see them have a five-year lease. So the problem is, when you get a five-year lease, or even a 10-year lease, you're gonna sink a lot of money into a restaurant. The only time you ever ever would even do short term is if everything's turnkey and you have to sink no money in. But think about it, you're sinking money into a restaurant. 50,000, 250,000, a half a million dollars. I know somebody who spent almost uh, over a half a million dollars and got a 10 year lease. It's hard to recuperate that kind of money in a short term, okay? What happens if you wanna sell your restaurant? Let's say in four years or nine years, you know what, I've had enough of the restaurant, I wanna sell it. Guess what, without a lease, you don't have much there besides, you know, the equipment and stuff, which once it's used, is dirt cheap. It's hard to sell used equipment for a top dollar. It's impossible. When you go to a, a restaurant supply store to buy used equipment, I mean, they're gonna charge you, but if you're selling it, you're not gonna get much for it unless you find some sucker to come in and, 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 and take over the business. But the problem is, there's no lease, so when, you go to sell it, what are you gonna sell? One year of a lease left? A part of the value of your restaurant, a lot of the value of your restaurant is saying, hey, I've got 12 years left in the lease. I have 15 years left on my lease. Because what's gonna happen if you have a five year lease? In four years, the landlord can start negotiating with somebody else. And I wanna give you an example of what I think happened in a situation like this. I'm not 100% sure, but let me show you. So here's a restaurant, uh, Woody's, Okay, Woody's closes. Now this restaurant is in uh, Cornwall, which is about an, almost an hour from me here. So and this is January 3rd. Now Woody's, the bright yellow restaurant on Quaker Avenue, closes doors on December 30th after being in business for five years. Okay, that's the key, five years. And a telephone conversation on January 2nd, the owner said that a different type of restaurant is interested in acquiring the building. Okay, now, if you had a 10-year lease, 15-year lease, what kind of other restaurant should be inquiring about the building? Now, I don't know if this is the case for sure with Woody's. Okay, I've never been to Woody's. Um, I've had issues with Woody's in the past because they weren't 100% truthful on their grass-fed burgers. Everybody thought they had grass-fed burgers when you'd call them. Um, they would say that their burgers are grass-fed. They just failed to say that at 14 months, the animals were actually started to, to put in a feedlot or they were fed grain supplements. So when you keep animals on a pasture and you give them grain supplements, no longer are they grass fed. So I, I spoke to them many of many times and probably a dozen times over the last five years. So I asked them just to, to, you know, they shouldn't be saying that. And they would argue with me and saying that the animals are grass fed. And I knew customers that went there thought they were eating true grass fed burgers and they really weren't. So that that's, that's a couple strikes on, on Woody's. So I'm not sure if this is the actual case. I'm sure they're nice people. Um, I'm sure they're nice people. You know, I just, I don't know them personally and I don't want to, you know, um, say too much without knowing, but I do know about the grass fed. I'm not sure about their lease here, but this is a, this is a classic thing. You see this all the time after five years of businesses and businesses around for five years and all of a sudden they shut down and it's something new. That's typically because they didn't have a strong enough lease. So that's why it's so important. If they had a 20 year lease or 15 year lease, then they could actually negotiate directly with the new different type of restaurant that wanted to be in there. So that's how that works. That's where the value of your business is. Super important to, to get a good, strong lease. And you know, the more experienced restaurateurs will tell you, you know, I mean, they'll tell you, you know, they get 20, 25 year leases, um, 15, the minimum, the minimum. And I even know one restaurant who has a clause every year, he can back out of the lease. He's in total control. When you're coming into a restaurant and if you're a serious restaurateur and the landlord sees that you're a serious restaurateur and you're gonna sink big bucks into his property, hey, you know, it's a restaurateur, you should be in the driver's seat. 
Hope this helped uh, anybody who's opening a restaurant or renegotiating a lease or trying to buy a restaurant with a short lease. You know, there's no value in a short lease. Thanks for watching. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you have any questions, email me at help at 50mistakes.com.